Hey everybody, we are going on a side trip today. I really wanted to go and take a look at some historical finds at one of my local antique stores. So I figured it was time for us to get out in the world for a bit and to take you for a ride with me. One of the first things that I came across once I got to the antique mall was actually this really, really cool Victorian morning bodice. It's made out of silk velvet, and it's not in the greatest condition as you might imagine, so you can kind of see some of the inner workings. I didn't take it off and play with it a whole lot because I didn't want to damage it farther, but just take a look at how neat that is. Antique stores always have so many really cool things. Sometimes you can get a little glimpse into how different items might have functioned, different finishes that you might find on gloves, handkerchiefs, costume jewelry, or maybe find some vintage buttons to make the project you're working on actually pop with that little vintage flair. My particular antique store I was at had a lot of these early 20th century electric sewing machines and all sorts of different manufacturers. And sometimes you just spot a cute little hat that you have to try on. The booth person said it was okay, by the way. I was also surprised to find a damaged Victorian muff hanging out in this booth. Being out in Colorado, and for most of my life honestly being in the Mountain West, I have a lot of boots and buckles and other things that also show up in these. And it's just part of the history of the area and our local culture. Score button hooks. If you've been taking a look at some of the reproductions that are out there for your Victorian boots, I would also argue maybe go take a look at an antique shop because these things were so common that they were actually used as merchandising gimmicks or advertising gimmicks. Are you just seeing all of these cute little toy sewing machines? They were everywhere and I love them. What I probably spent the most time on my little trip over here doing was going through vintage button boxes. I kind of wanted to see what sort of historical notions people might have 
as well as seeing what kind of buttons I might be able to use on some future vintage projects. Don't forget to stop by the book booths. I always do this because sometimes I find catalogs from long gone exhibits where I can really dig in and learn some of the history from my area and others. In between staring at darning eggs, different yarns, and other bits that I might use to actually make something. By the way, are you seeing all of these advertisements on Thimbles? I guess these were also given out as little marketing pieces. Okay, I had to make a second pass by this bodice because I just couldn't help myself. It was probably the coolest thing I found in the whole antique mall. And if you ever get a chance to see something like this up close, I bet you're going to have a very similar experience. So around this time, the announcer was trying to come over the intercom to remind us the antique mall would be closing any minute now and to make some final selections. I picked up some vintage needles, some thimbles, other bits of sewing notions, and started heading for the checkout. Let me know about your own antiquing experiences and how you tie it in with your more modern hobbies in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.